Is Tyrion Lannister really a Targaryen and a Zora High? Tywin Lannister's always hated his son Tyrion. He says it's because his beloved wife Joanna died giving birth to him. But what if it was more than that? What if the real reason he hated Tyrion was because he was never his son at all? Aerys Targaryen, the Mad King, was known to have been infatuated with Joanna Lannister. She was a lady at his court at the same time that Tyrion was conceived. And it's possible that Aerys either seduced or raped her and impregnated her with Tyrion. Consider that, beyond his stature, Tyrion looks nothing like the other members of his family. The Lannisters, including Cersei and Jaime, all have golden blonde hair and green eyes. But in the book, Tyrion is described as having pale, almost white hair that's closer to the silver hair of the Targaryens. He also has one black eye and one green eye. Tywin hated Tyrion, to the point where he repeatedly tried to have him killed. He placed him in the vanguard during the Battle of Green Fork, and he sentenced him to death for killing Joffrey, even though he knew he was innocent. This is particularly baffling, because Tyrion is his only legitimate heir. As a member of the King's Guard, Jaime is forbidden from marrying or having children. Only Tyrion could carry on the family name. If he was dead, Tywin could not pass his castle on to his own children. Finally, consider that the last words Tywin Lannister says before Tyrion murders him are, you are no son of mine. But if Tyrion isn't a Lannister, how do we know he's a Targaryen? We know that Targaryens have always had a particular affinity for dragons, and that they're the one family in the Seven Kingdoms that have the ability to control them. Consider that when Tyrion finds Daenerys' dragons chained up in the catacombs, he frees them, and rather than burn him to a crisp, they seem to take to him, as they would to a Targaryen. And if Tyrion actually is the son of Ares, then that means he could possibly be Azor Ahai, the reincarnation of an ancient warrior whose return has been foretold in prophecy and who must be a Targaryen. According to the prophecy, Azor Ahai will be reborn amidst smoke and salt. At the Battle of Blackwater, Tyrion laid a trap with fire and burned a fleet on the salt water of Blackwater Bay. He entered the battle as a shrewd and conniving dwarf, but was knocked out and reborn as a great warrior who defended his kingdom. The prophecy also states that the reborn warrior will free dragons from stone, and after Tyrion unchained Daenerys' dragons, they escape through a stone wall. Finally, in order to fulfill his destiny, Azor Ahai had to kill the woman he loved. Tyrion also killed the woman he loved, when he murdered Shay for betraying him with his own father. And if Tyrion truly is Azor Ahai, then that means he isn't just a Targaryen, but he could also be the one who finally sits on the Iron Throne. What do you think?